I often get asked, what is the async pipe doing? How does it work? Well, I think the easiest way to show you how the async pipe is working is by implementing a simplified version of the async pipe. So let's take a look at the following application. We have an app component and this app component simply displays a stream. We're using the standard async pipe, the built-in async pipe from Angular. And the stream starts off with a timer, so after two seconds it emits, and then we map it to an array of foo bar, and we start with a value of foo. So when we run this application, we can see that initially foo is displayed, and after two seconds, bar comes. So let's now go ahead and implement our own pipe. So we would say um, import pipe, and we would give it a name. Let's call it my my async. Let's just call it my async. And we will make this a standalone pipe. Export class my async pipe. And inside here we will have a transform method. And this transform method takes a stream. Thank you, GitHub Copilot. So usually when you generate um, async pipe, you should actually um, you should actually use schematics, that's way easier. But yeah, we have our async pipe. Of course, to make it available, we have to import it here inside the imports array, and then we can start using my async pipe. So the first thing we want to do is we want to add two private properties. We want to add a private value property, which is of type, let's just go with any, we could fix the typing here, but let's just go with any for the simplicity. And we will have a subscription, which is also of type any. So whenever we get a stream, what we will do, we will do exactly what Copilot says. Uh, we will accept a observable. And basically, we will check if we already have a subscription, then we won't do anything. But if we, have, if we don't have a subscription, we will subscribe to the stream and then we will assign the value to our value here. And finally, we will return the value. So Copilot did a pretty good job here, but it's not perfect because he's missing one important thing. At this moment, our transform method is called once and this will not work. So if we would rerun the application, we would see that foo comes, bar emits, but bar is never displayed. And the reason for that is because our transform method is only called once and not multiple times. To call the transform method multiple times, basically on every change detection tick, we have to do two things. The first thing that we have to say that this is not a pure pipe, it's an impure pipe. And the second thing is we actually have to mark our component as dirty so that it really runs change detection and that, you, that it's updated during change detection. So what we can do inside the constructor, we can get a hold of the change detector ref. So we would do um, CDR change detector ref and then inside here what we have to do is call cdr dot mark for check now if we refresh we can see that foo is there and bar comes after three seconds three or two uh, it was two after two seconds bar emits because our transform method is run again the value is correctly updated and returned so that's basically how the async pipe works. So there is one last thing of course missing is to handle the subscription. So we can go ahead and add a ng on destroy lifecycle hook. So we just implement the on destroy interface um, like this. And then again, we add a private destroy subject. Let's call it destroy dollar for stream, which is a new subject. And what we will do inside the ng on destroy lifecycle hook, we will say this dot destroy, 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 this dot destroy next. Um, we can say this subject is void. And then the final part that is missing is of course inside our stream, we can use a pipe together with a take until and we slap in the this dot destroy. So, that's a very simplified version of the async pipe. 
but I think it illustrates nicely what it does under the hood. So the important thing is it subscribes to your observable, it automatically unsubscribes, but one very important line is line 29, this dot change detection ref mark for check. So this line guarantees that change detection is also triggered when you, for example, use a observable in an on-push scenario and together with the async pipe. So this marks a component for check. In the next cycle of change detection, it will then get picked up and the value will get updated. If you like this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on Twitch and keep building great things with Angular.